How to get drinkable water when the world is dead. The oceans have swallowed half the coastline and the only liquid for miles is salt water that'll kill you faster than radiation. Picture this, the taps ran dry three months ago. The bottled water disappeared with the first wave of looters. You're standing on what used to be Miami Beach, now just Miami, staring at an endless ocean of undrinkable death soup. Your throat feels like sandpaper wrapped in more sandpaper. Good news, that salt water can save your life. Bad news, you'll need to science the hell out of it. Method one, the beach fire special. Find a pot, doesn't matter if it's rusty, burnt, or stolen. Fill it with seawater, not too full. Now grab a curved piece of metal, car hood, road sign, whatever bends. Position it over the pot at an angle. You're making a condensation surface. Light a fire underneath, using driftwood, old furniture, those useless paper bills. As the water boils, steam rises, hits your metal sheet, and runs down into a collection container. Could be a cup, a helmet, a skull if you're feeling theatrical. The science? Salt doesn't evaporate. Steam is pure H2O. The salt stays behind like a bitter X. Method 2. The solar still for patient psychopaths. Dig a hole in the sand. Place a container in the center. Pour salt water around it, not in it. Cover the whole mess with plastic sheeting or that emergency blanket you've been saving. Put a rock in the center so the plastic dips toward your container. Then you wait. The sun evaporates the water, it condenses on the plastic, and drips into your container. Slow? Yes. Will you die of thirst first? Maybe. But it works while you sleep, assuming nothing eats you. Method 3. The Pressure Cooker Hack Find a pressure cooker in some abandoned kitchen. Attach any tube to the steam valve. Garden hose, copper pipe, IV tubing from the hospital. Run that tube through something cold, bury it in wet sand, wrap it in a wet cloth, boil seawater in the cooker. Steam shoots through the tube, cools down, condenses back to water, collect it, drink it, don't die. The payoff? One gallon of seawater yields about a cup of drinking water. The leftover salt crust? Save it, trade it, season your rat meat. You've just turned the ocean from your enemy into your hydration station. Welcome to the new world, where chemistry keeps you alive and everything else tries to kill you.